All right, folks. Well, we are finally getting out and trying out Sasquatch for the first time. It is all done. Well, mostly all done. There's still a couple little things here and there. Now we got Daisy. Megan is in behind us. And uh, we're going to go catch up with my buddy Matt, who's got a nice little spot on the Metolius River. And uh, we're going to try out Sasquatch for the first time this weekend. This isn't going to be a cinematic video because, quite honestly, I've been working real hard and uh, I just want to have an enjoyable weekend. But I will get a uh, cinematic video going here uh, real soon. All right, guys. Well, we got the van set up. Having a pub beer tonight because it's hot and a cold beer tastes good. But this is our camp spot. We got Megan's van. Got the Luminous bumpers and rack on there for her. So we're getting somewhere. Matt's over here. We're on a river in the middle of uh, the forest, but he thinks he's going to do some surf fishing. So he's lining up a pole. So you can check this out. We've got this beautiful river here right up in front of our camp and it is gorgeous. I've actually done a couple videos down here before. Check out my channel. I've been down here in the snow and I think I've been down here once in the summertime like this, but absolutely gorgeous. Great place to christen the van and uh, spend some time out. What you doing, babe? Couple photos. Do you like the spot we're in? Yeah, this is really nice. This is a good spot. There's nobody around, and we're on the river. Daisy's enjoying the cool water. It was hot today. We just finished up the van. She's happy to be out here in some cool water. Is that good water, good girl? Yeah. All right, guys, well, we're just cooking up here uh, using my little scottle dish that you guys have seen on the channel before, but we're also using the volcano stove. Now, this didn't quite work out the way I hoped because I've got it hooked to the van, and it turns out that what the volcano stove came with was a high-pressure regulator, and the van uses a low-pressure regulator. But it's working out with uh, this scottle dish really well for cooking, uh, cooking up meals. All right, well, we are getting up this morning. It's actually late morning. Matt just got done cooking us a really yummy breakfast. Here's Matt's setup for those that haven't seen it. Built this canopy. It's got his bed inside. Everything set up, drawer system underneath. How's the new setup working out so far? It's awesome. I love it. It's nice not being in a tent. It is. All right, guys, well, we're just enjoying a beautiful morning, just shooting some bows. Let Matt get a shot. Boom. But yeah, just a great way to kind of spend some time at camp. Got a target out, bows out, good time. We got Jason taking his best shot here. Yeah, I'm a little out of practice here, I'm, I'm seeing. Nice. So I bought this little fly fishing kit off Amazon. It basically came with everything, a little rod holder, place to put your rod, and then this little uh, kit with flies and then your reel. I, I used to do a lot of river fishing when I lived on the Deschutes or near the Deschutes River, but I always did spin reel fishing. I never had the patience for fly fishing, so I'm really a horrible, very poor fly fisherman, but I thought I'd try it again, and uh, you know, maybe I have a, as I'm getting older, maybe I'd get, have a little more patience than I used to. You catch anything out there? You look good though. I mean, you got all the gear. That's all, that's half the battle, right? It's just to look good while you're doing it. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna fail at fly fishing, this could be a worse place. All right, well, Megan and Matt have both left and I've got the campsite to myself. I did move the van over to where Matt was at and uh, we're starting to get some shade on. I got the awning out just so that I could get a little bit more shade and uh, have a nice little place. But man, I tell you what, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, spot here and it's just been a beautiful gorgeous day very hot but pleasant and the you know in the shade of these tall pines yeah great day to be out and uh, yeah enjoying it so far just waiting for the sun to kind of go down a little bit and then I think I'm gonna try to pull out the new film camera and uh, get a nice shot of the river 
All right, so we're set up here. We've got the, my film camera. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I went out and did a video with a young man named Trevor who shot film. Well, it intrigued me enough that I decided I had to get my own film camera. So I have a Mamiya 645-1000S. I've got it loaded with Portra 400, and we've got a nice scene out here with some rocks uh, right down over here. The sun is still pretty high in the sky, but I want to shoot this scene while there's still light on the river and light on these rocks. So I'm all set up. I've got my composition. I've metered and I'm ready to go. So we're going to go ahead, shoot this and uh, see what we get. Well, I just got done trying the fly fishing again. Uh, no luck. You know, I do have some waders at, but I didn't have them and my feet are freezing. Got dinner all cooked. Got a couple of those pieces of chicken for Daisy. I'll cut those up and uh, let them cool. Put them in her bowl where I've already got a little bit of sauce for her sitting there from some eggs this morning. And uh, that will be her dinner. Is that good stuff, Daisy? Must be. <laughs> All right, well, we're up this morning and uh, we're just getting ready to make some coffee here. Uh, having some Daisy Cafe. Daisy's just laying over here on the bed, cuddled up. But yeah, we're just gonna pour our coffee. And I, ooh, that was kind of warm. So yeah, I'll pay attention to what we're doing here and pour our coffee and uh, get our day started. Well, we're enjoying our coffee in our Lifestyle Overland mug. Um, just a beautiful morning. Just enjoying the coolness. Uh, the sun hasn't started to peak up over the mountains yet. You can kind of start to see some color cutting up those mountains. But as it is right now, it's just cool. It's uh, quiet. I mean, other than the, the flow of the river, which is pleasant. And a few birds chirping. Uh, the morning away. We are going to get going on the van. Um, I'm going to pack up and get uh, back to the shop. I've got a few, a list of a few items that I uh, figured out over the course of this little trip that I want to get worked out and fixed. And then a few items, a list of few items that I need to get back into the van that I forgot to load in my haste to get out here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My goal is is to get these done today and then tomorrow we're gonna go up and hit some mountain lakes and we'll shoot a cinematic video and get one of those going on the channel. My, my, my absolute goal is to get a good balance of these vlogs and cinematic videos going again now that the van is done. I do wanna get a good balance of the cinematic and vlog videos, so. We're going to enjoy this cup of coffee. If you enjoyed this video, seeing a little bit of a glimpse of what life is like at camp for me when I'm not focused on videoing. I mean, I do like, uh, I mean, um, that was a pleasure. Like, I got to focus yesterday more on photography. Even though I didn't catch a dang thing with the fly pole, I still got to go out and enjoy actual fly fishing without having to worry about trying to get video of me actually fly fishing. I could just go out and enjoy, enjoy it. So that's also part of these vlogs. And it's not just me trying to get more content out. It's giving you guys a glimpse of, you know, what life is like at camp when I don't have to focus all my energy on creating a video. Yeah, you know, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a glimpse of what that's like. And if you did, please do give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Uh, a reminder to my patrons on Patreon who support me. Uh, we've got the camp out coming up very soon, and uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Be, be watching the Patreon page for more information on everything from fires, uh, wildfires, campfires, and, you know, uh, location, uh, exact location. So check that out. Uh, if you're not supporting me on Patreon, it's a great way to keep this channel going. And uh, so check out the link below. Also, of course, merch. Uh, hats, shirts, patches, all that stuff, the coffee I'm drinking. 
uh, all that stuff does help with the channel. So if you want to help me out there, that's great too. So anyways, we'll see you guys again outside.